we can get into uh, the actual size of the universe, how big is the universe. Now, in the article that we're going to look at, I know that there's a lot of Christians who are, are young earth creationists and you know, they believe that the universe was created 6,000 years ago. That's fine. Uh, and there's a lot of old earth creationists that believe that the earth was created you know, 13 or 14 billion years ago. That's fine. Now, in the article that we're going to look at, it, it, um, it's, not like, it, it's a scientific article. It's not specifically a Christian article. Uh, but I don't think anything in here necessarily has to contradict uh, anything that we believe as Christians, because I, I, as I'm going to show you in a little bit, I, I do believe it's possible you can have both an old and a young view of the age of the universe. It just depends on your perspective. It depends uh, where you're going with it. It depends if you're the one in the spaceship moving at light speed, and you're thinking five minutes has passed, where in, in reality, back on Earth, that is not moving in light speed, back on Earth, it has been decades, perhaps. So I, I think it's, it's one of those things. Uh, so I wanted to look at this article. This is from imagine.gsfc.nasa.gov. The title is the, the Farthest Visible Reaches of Space. And there's a lot of cool images in here that uh, help explain really what our universe is, is like from a, a distance perspective. And it's good to have that framework before we get too much into expansion. But it says, current observations suggest that the universe is about 13.7 billion years old. We know that light takes time to travel. So if we observe an object that is 13 billion light years away, then that light has been traveling towards us for 13 billion years. Essentially, we are seeing that object as it appeared 13 billion years ago. Now, again, I, I don't want to be so dogmatic on the young earth, old earth thing. You, if, if you're a young earth type person, that's fine. Then just, just place in 6,000 years or something like that. Because there, there, are, there are young earth answers to this question um, about how, how, how do we see you know, how do we see universe from light years away? Uh, that, that would be a whole other Peck report. I'd be happy to do that. That would actually be a, a pretty interesting episode if we looked at some of the best evidence of young Earth and some of the best evidence of old Earth uh, or young and old universe and then kind of compared the two. Uh, but that goes outside of our scope for uh, this video. So, so, you know, whatever side you fall on in that argument, just, uh, you know, either take it for what it says or just take it with a grain of salt and, and don't, don't, let that, don't let that throw you. Uh, so it says, with every year that passes, our newest technology enables us to see further and further back. The image used for uh, this stop on our journey is the Hubble Ultra Deep Field UDF. The UDF is one of the deepest views of the visible universe to date. Certainly it was the deepest when it was originally created in uh, 2003 and 2004. There are approximately 10,000 galaxies in this view right here, which is uh, a sort of core sample of a very narrow patch of sky near the constellation Fornax. The smallest, reddest galaxies in the image, of which are about 100, are amongst the most distant known objects. So, you know, you got some red ones here and here, uh, some over here. The redder they are, they say, the further they are because of what's called red shift. It's, it's sort of like, uh, you know, the Doppler effect. When a train goes by, you hear the train, and uh, when it gets closer, uh, you, you, you can hear it real loud, but then as it goes away, it sounds like the pitch drops. It goes, you know, like that. Well, the same type of thing happens with light because light's a, a spectrum, and the, furthest, uh, the, the further away something is, um, it, it bends and you see more of the red. You see, you see more of a red shift. So it, it's the same type of thing as the Doppler effect, uh, but they call it red shift. So that, that's, how, uh, that, that's how they measure far away stars and galaxies. Is it perfect? No. Um, there's certainly there's certainly a lot of uh, issues with it, and th some some of those we'll we'll look at too because there's not really a consensus on how fast the universe is expanding, how much it's expanding, or even if it's expanding at all. Uh, there's not really a scientific you know consensus on that. There's lots of physicists that have different ideas, so we will look at those. But uh, but first, let's continue on with this. The the UDF looks back at approximately 13 billion years. Um, or approximately between 400 and 800 million years after the Big Bang. Galaxies that existed in that time period would be very young and very different in structure and appearance than the grand spirals we see nearby today. So here, here you see the telescope here, and it sh kind of shows you on this graph what, what this thing is able to look at. Um, so, you know, according to them, here's the Big Bang. This is the, the uh, radiation... Um, Having a hard time reading that. That's very small, but uh, the radiation right after the Big Bang, you know, dark age, first stars. So this uh, ultra uh, ultra deep telescope here is able to see about about here. 
uh, the uh, ultra deep field. Um, it's able to see there. So pretty interesting. It might, might, might lead us to the question, what is the furthest known object from Earth? Now, this, this article is a little bit older. This is from 2016, so there might be further objects that have been, that have been uh, found more recently, but at least since 2016, uh, this is what it's been able to see. It says, um, here's the newest candidates as of May and uh, September of 2015, respectively, for farthest galaxy ever detected. There's EGS-8P7 at more than 13.2 billion light years away, and EGS-ZS-8 dash one at 13.1 billion light years away. Um, and we don't have to go through this whole thing, but here's, here's an interesting uh, picture. And again, this comes from NASA, but um, uh, th this, this shows some of the galaxies that it's able to see. It says, Hubble provides first consensus of galaxies near cosmic dawn by uh, NASA Blue Shift on, on Flickr. So that's what that is. Uh, and down here, th this was... Um, it says, as of this writing, it seems that one of the galaxies in this recent Hubble discovery may be a distance record breaker. It was observed 380 million years after the Big Bang with a redshift of 11.9. This means the light from this galaxy right here left 13.3 plus billion light years uh, ago. Um, well, that's, okay, 13.3 years ago. Uh, light, light years is a measure of distance, not of time. But, uh, but this is, so... That's this picture. Obviously, very blurry and very pixelated because it's very far away. Um, there's some more pictures here of other galaxies and things. Uh, again, we don't have to go through this whole thing. There's, there were just a few points that I really wanted to really wanted to hit. But if you do want the whole article, you can find that link right up there. Um, let's see. So here's some more galaxies. Uh, you know, th th now this one's a simulation of what JWST Deep Field might look like. Uh, okay, so they, they put in simulations as well as actual pictures as well, and they, they tell you which is which. So distance information, and how do we calculate the distance? So th this is where it talks about the red shifts that we talked about before, um, and it gives you some more uh, information on that. Uh, this is where it talks about the 13 point, or 13 you know, billion years. Uh, and then down here it says, at the rate of 17.3 kilometers a second, the rate Voyager is traveling away from the sun, it would take around that big number, <laughs> that many years, to reach this distance. At the speed of light, it would take 13 billion years. Um, now, it says up here, too, scientists have estimated the age of the universe to be 13.73 billion years old with an uncertainty of about 120 million years. When we observe an object that is 13 billion light years away, we are essentially observing it as it was 13 billion years ago when the universe was young. All right, now, that right there, that right there I want to focus in on for a moment because this question of the expansion of the universe, they say... When they observe objects that are farther away, when they observe galaxies and things that are further away, they're moving faster and faster and faster. So that leads them, that, that leads them to say, it leads them to believe that the universe is expanding at an, increasing, at an increased rate. Now, what I haven't been able to find is specific mathematics relating time into this whole equation. Because when you're looking at a faraway galaxy you're looking back in time. So why is it not that the expansion of the universe was just faster back then? You know, if you look at, uh, let's say, stars or galaxies or, or, or whatever, uh, the, the, the further away they are, the faster they're traveling away from each other. I mean, wh why would that not then just lead to the conclusion that the expansion of the universe was faster before, you know, I mean, you're looking back in time. It takes light that long to, to reach us. So why, why would that not be the conclusion? Why, why would the conclusion be that the universe is expanding faster and faster today? Maybe it's slowing down. Maybe it was faster before, and that's why the further we look out, the faster we, we the, or the further away we see these objects, uh, or the, fa the faster they're, they're moving away from each other, I should say. Uh, so, so that, that's a question I have. That's something that I don't fully, uh, understand why, why that, why that hasn't been dealt with or why time, uh, doesn't seem to be a factor in, you know, when, when, um, scientists say that the expansion of the universe is happening at an increased speed. 
again, their evidence is they look at faraway galaxies. Well, that's what those galaxies looked like that long ago, you know. If the, if the galaxy is, you know, a, a, a billion light years away, well, that's what that galaxy looked like a billion years ago. We don't know that it looks like that today. You know, we don't know that it's traveling that fast today or if it's that far away from everything else today. So could it be that the expansion of the universe, maybe we got it reversed. Maybe it is actually slowing down. Uh, so those, those, are, those are important questions that I don't have the answers to, but I figured, hey, in a show like this, <laughs> those would be the ones to ask, right? Uh, and of course, I encourage all of you to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think and uh, you know, let's get a conversation going because this is really interesting.